It's week 11, and it's headed your way next. It is perhaps the best home field advantage in all of football and certainly the loudest as we welcome you to GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Dallas Cowboys and the Kansas City Chiefs. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Here comes this Dallas offense led by Dak Prescott in his sixth season now as the Cowboy quarterback. When he came out of college, I thought his best attribute was being able to break the pocket and make plays in the open field. But watching him develop over the years, you see a guy who can stand in the pocket and deliver excellent throws into tight windows. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels. Because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, he breaks through, there's nothing but room to run. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. And now it looks like we've got a Cowboy shaken up down there on the field. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. Elliott. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh, -huh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Oh, Zeke with a quick feet, and he'll get it down to the 47 here. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Another good run there for a guy who, remember, on Wednesday was named NFC Offensive Player of the Week for what he did a week ago. Yeah, and you know it takes some solid runs and some extra special ones in order to win that type of an award. I think he's locked in and wants to get it done a second time. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. A first down carry by Elliott. And he's got some space here. They go touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott, 40 yards. And the Cowboys are on the board first here on the road in Kansas City. Looking sharp on that first drive. These guys, of course, coming off back-to-back -back victories. And you see that kind of advancing into this game, don't you? You certainly do. And when you have a team that doesn't get too full of itself, even though they've won two games in a row, you get the end result that we saw there, that nice opening drive, because they're sharp, they're focused, and they're locked into everything that they're doing. Zerline good with a PAT. And it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Right after the touchdown to extend their lead, now maybe opening the door a little bit there by allowing starting field position at the 40. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Demarcus Robinson, the intended target on that one. But it'll be second down. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter from Arrowhead. It's the Chiefs in possession as they've got it second down and 12. A shotgun snap and a give to Edwards Alaire. And again, the run defense stout this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. 
Throwing is Mahomes on third. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. Well, offensively lucky there, able to keep the football, but now fourth down, so they'll have to boot it away. I do think, though, they're going to look at this as a positive. One, they recovered the fumble, so they retained possession. But two, being able to punt it changes field position for them. Imagine if that turnover takes place there. Now your defense has to go onto the field and try and hold. Instead, they get a little breathing room. Counting down toward halftime on EA Sports. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. A first down throw for Prescott. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. What a dimension this man brings to this defense. He had his mind set there that he was going to get in and make that tackle. He really flew to the football. And you can just see that whole play developing. That's where, as a defender, you just lock in on your target and say, I'm not even thinking about breaking stride. I'm running straight for the belt buckle because where it goes, that's where you find his body, and he's able to get in there and make a great play. Throwing, Prescott. Buying time to his left. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott with his 16th touchdown of the year. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. If you didn't know it, it won't surprise you to find out that this team leads the league in scoring. They've been a quick strike team all season long. There's another example. They did it again. This offensive coordinator, right now you can write his ticket towards being a head coach. He's advanced in the ways of offense. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Now returning it, Antonio Callaway. The Chiefs going to go back on offense here late in this first half. And with a little under a minute remaining, they may try to put something together here just to try to cut into that deficit. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes and going deep for Hill. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Now Mahomes. He'll swing this one out to Edwards Alaire. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Well, it wasn't a big strike. But that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here? You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. Here's Tommy Townsend now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. He'll send this one into the Midwestern air, and it's a good one. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Cowboys out on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. The NFL season is going to be about two-thirds complete after this weekend. So lots to get to as we check out what's going on here in week 11. We'll get started up at Lincoln Financial Field. You want the third quarter already? No problem. Let's do it. The final adjustments taking place here for both of these squads. They're about ready for the second half in Kansas City. And for the call, we rejoin Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. 
And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. On second and 11 now, Mahomes. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him picking up the first down. On first down, Mahomes. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Throwing now is Mahomes. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Edwards Alaire as they run out of the gun. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Now it appears we've got a Chief moving pretty gingerly down there. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. I think it's pretty evident we can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. And he will not get what he needed as he stops short of the first down at around the 22. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. Now Mahomes got to have this one. He's got his man. That's Hardman. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like... Ah. Yeah, you know how you feel, right? Exactly. <laughs> Series. He's past the 30. Up to midfield. Tony Pollard. He will take this all the way. A big time special teams play here in the fourth quarter to extend their lead. And coaches preach it all the time. If you can score on special teams, your chances of winning the game really jump up in a big way. Now, I'll let our analytics friends quantify it and give us the exact numbers, but that's what coaches talk about all the time, that extra momentum, that extra bounce you get from a special team score. I don't have any analytics friends. Those are your <laughs> friends. <laughs> I'll claim them. Zerline connects on the extra point, and it's now 21-7. And what a job there by all 11 on the kick return. The blocking, excellent. The return, excellent. The result, six points. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. Callaway, the return man. 
And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. It doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. Finding Kelsey, and he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Here's Mahomes. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Mahomes. Connecting with Hill. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Mahomes. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's a, and this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by DeMonte Kazin, and he'll return this one just shy of midfield to the 49. He's at it again, Charles. He had the pick six last week. Not a pick six here, but an interception. It's another Oski, because that's the word we use when we intercept the pass. Oski tells your team to rally around and block for you, but that worked really well last week because he had made it all the way to the end zone. This week, he got Bioski, maybe not a touchdown, but boy, he's playing really well. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. They keep on the ground with Elliott. Pretty move. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. The give is to Elliott. Oh, good footwork on the spin. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Zerline good with a PAT. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And they'll be inside the red zone with a ball at the 16-yard line. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Again to Elliott. This carry, despite the extra effort, will be stopped short of the 10. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. On second down, Elliott once more. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys appear to be headed to a 9-1 start as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that'll increase their lead to 28. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Callaway, the return man. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And just looking ahead, it would appear that that bye week is coming at the right time. They'll have two weeks to chew on this one, though probably not one that they want to chew on. A poor performance from start to finish. Now one final throw here is incomplete, and that is how this one will come to an end. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys, and they were booing Charles by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one were thinking to themselves, I'll bet halftime was really interesting.